Hey guys, thanks for tuning in uh, to another episode of Cam Talks, Firearms Talks. Uh, uh, some of you guys had seen, I posted a little teaser a couple of weeks ago about picking something really cool up from my FFL, and I decided I'd share that with you guys. So, I'm sure you know, you've seen my posts about my friendly Smith & Wesson AR-15, uh, one of my favorite pig hunting rifles. Uh, However, one of the things about hunting with a, an AR-15 specifically in 223 Remington is it's really a precision rifle. You can't just, you can't shoot larger bodied game um, at the same distances. You may have to pass up shots that are not ideal. Um, and so there's a couple of options you have. One is you can upgrade to a larger caliber upper receiver, like a 300 blackout like my uncle did. Um, but I had a hard time with the idea of putting something else on this gun because I'm one of those people. So I was looking online and I found a company called Palmetto State Arms, which is a very, very popular um, South Carolina based distributor of AR-15 parts, rifles, and just about anything else you can think of firearms related. And they have their own AR-10. And you'll notice that this is a whole lot bigger in just about all the proportions from my AR-15. And that is because the AR-10 fires a 308 Winchester, which is basically the government's way of shortening the 30-06 cartridge that I hunt with in my M1 Garand um, to a smaller semi-automatic operating system. So, what the US government did is they put out a contract um, in the late 50s looking for something that would have the stopping power of their 30 6 but be smaller and lighter. And they came out with the 762 by 51 NATO or the 308 Winchester, as it's more commonly known. There's some little variations between the two, but nothing that we're gonna worry about for this video. Um, and Eugene Stoner, the guy who created the AR-15 and a handful of other firearms, started with building the AR-10 because he wanted something the US Army was going to use. Um, however, the design of the AR-10 was too radical and instead the government went with the M14, which is basically a slightly modified version of the M1 Garand that they'd used in World War II in Korea. So unfortunately, the AR-10 didn't get much notoriety, didn't get a whole lot of government contracts. It kind of slipped into obscurity, for lack of a better term. There wasn't a lot of aftermarket support until um, Knight's Armament Company down here in Florida went ahead and bought the patents for it. And they started producing sniper rifles, the SR-25 sniper rifle. Um, and that became pretty popular around the Special Forces marksmanship circles. Uh, if you've seen American Sniper, the semi-automatic rifle that he uses is a variation. I can't remember off the top of my head what he used, but it's basically an accuratized AR-10. Uh, this one that I'm holding right here is Palmetto State Armory's carbine version. So it has an 18 inch stainless steel barrel for 308 Winchester. Uh, and being that it's a bigger cartridge, it's going to recoil more than my 223 does. It's going to make a lot more noise than it does as well. However, with the 308, I could confidently hunt elk, moose, deer. I could shoot targets at a thousand yards with training, good ammo, and ideal conditions. Um, I have not mounted a scope to this one or anything, like I did with my AR-15 that you saw. But because this and this are from the same family tree, everything operates the same way. So now for um, about the same amount of money I would spend on a regular hunting rifle, I have a rifle that has the same detachable magazine as my AR-15 style, same layout, same collapsible stock so I can adjust for different types of shooters, same safety controls, just like you have on the AR-15, just the switch button where your thumb is if you happen to be right-handed. Um, same sights, same flash hider. It's basically just a beefed up version of the same gun. 
or I should say the AR-15 is a trimmed down version of the same gun. Um, so I'm really excited uh, to have this piece, really excited to share with you guys about it. If you have any questions or would like to know more about the 308, about the AR-10, AR-15, hunting in general, let me know. Um, drop me a line, shoot me a message, stop me in the store, whatever you need to do. Uh, I appreciate it. You guys have a great day. Thanks for tuning in. And finish.